So I built this new computer here, and it has a great big old window. It has a lot of cool hardware in it, and I wanted to put it up on top of my desk so that I could look at it while I'm using my machine. But the problem with that was that my old desk setup had this big old hutch on top, and so I decided to remove the hutch so that I could display the computer up top. And then that led to another great big old can of worms as I'll explain as we go. I got my uh, master disaster working here in my home office. I got a uh, working on my uh, media slash file cabinet here and uh, getting ready to refinish it. I was going to paint it first and then go ahead and put the tile on the top but I realized that uh, finishing the tile would pretty much destroy the paint. So I did the, the tile first. Um, anyway, it's finishing out pretty nice. Kind of rounded that edge there. Made it actually fit. So that's working out nicely. And I got my TV hung up on the wall. That part was easy, but making it where you don't have the cords hanging down underneath it over here. Um, that part took a little uh, doing, trying to run the, the wiring through the wall there. So, if you look, I got the wiring going into this junction box or whatever you call it, light box. So I got it going into the box and then it goes into the, the wall there. And then it comes down here and all the wires for the cable box, computers, and everything else that will hook up to that TV. Uh, they'll come out behind this cabinet right here when it's back in place. So, we're making some progress, not as quickly as I would have hoped. Anyway, this place is a freaking disaster. Yeah, I knew that uh, regular paint would never hold up to the way I use my desk to surface. So, after watching some YouTube videos, I decided to just use good old vinyl floor tile uh, to cover the top of the desk with. It worked out quite well. In this iteration here, I had uh, carefully stacked the books to hide the gaping hole in the back of this bookcase, as you can see here. But before I could paint it, I would have to fix that. Fortunately, when I removed the hutch, I ended up with this backing here that I was able to repurpose as a new back for the bookcase. And it didn't have to go buy anything, so that worked out nicely. With the tiles finished and the uh, repairs made to the back of the bookcase, it was time to start painting things red. Once the red paint was finished, I moved on to the white. Achieving a quality finish required three coats of each color, both the red and the white. Since I ran out of room to work inside, I went ahead and went outside to do the drawers and the doors. I allowed the paint to dry overnight before uh, continuing to uh, reset up the office. I finally could, got the chance to see what it was going to look like with the new computer on the newly painted desk. I decided that one more night of drying was in order before putting any books on the shelves, though. With uh, most of the larger clutter back where it belonged, back in the shelves and everything, I could move my attention to getting the cabinets and drawers reset up. The next step was to tackle the cable management. I did this by using some old angle brackets and cable tying the uh, wires to them to hold them up out of the way. Uh, this worked pretty effectively. Also added a surge protector uh, towards the right side of the desk there, out of sight so that I could have a place to plug in my laptop. 
And these are the surge protectors that uh, are in, in the back of the desk where all of the stuff for the computer gets plugged in. So, maybe you've seen the desk I did for myself. You saw that, right? And then, this is my wife's desk here. And she's got her hutches on it still. Mine used to have hutches like these, see? And we got a bunch of clutter on here, but I got to clear all that away because we're going to be redoing this desk. We have these scratches here that need to be dealt with. And, uh... All that fun stuff. So, I just wanted to show how I just used to have these hutches here, right? And, uh, used to see I had these two single cabinets separated by some kind of wedge shaped shelves, right? And then at the bottom of the cabinet was these space steels here that hold it up above the desk. And the same is true with the little cabinet here. And it's got this hutch here, right? Well, mine had that too. Well, so I decided not to put my hutches back on. Was it, what am I, was I going to do with them, right? I had to do something. I throw them away or put them in storage forever and a day or what, you know. So I decided that I would repurpose them. So I took the two single cabinets that were at either end of my corner hutch. And I screwed them together down here. And then, I, uh, you know, that's after I cut off the bottom part that held it up above the desk. And I did the same with the double door du hutch that went to the cabinet. And uh, cut the bottom off of that. And then I screwed them all together. And so now I made this four door hutch thing that can hold the VHS tapes. So that they're not just piled up against the wall anymore. So... Yeah, it worked out quite well. And uh, that's usually the way things go with my projects is that one usually leads to several others because I end up repurposing parts I take off of one thing for something else. But uh, I need to put a vase up there. I think it looks all right. <clears throat> Didn't cost anything to do, so I thought it was kind of cool. Well, I covered up my setup with some uh, masking paper and uh, covered up the TV and whatnot with uh, some sheets and set out to be ready for the sanding party. Oh my goodness. Well, the sanding party is something less than a party now. I've been at it all day and I'm sick and tired of sanding. So here's what's left. I got a bookcase. I gotta sand that. I got two shelves for said bookcase. I gotta sand those. I still have the desk. I still have the cabinet. These are the little cross guys that go in the windows of the hutches doors. So I got most of those sanded. I got three pieces left to do here. Those three little guys there got to get done. Um, I have to fix this back. And then I got to get it fixed up and then I got to get it prepped for paint. Then I have to sand these shelves. And then I have to sand these doors. So once all that's done, I can start and get everything cleaned up here. Now these parts here, these are sanded and cleaned and they're ready to go out. Well, they're ready to be painted anyway. So I got them all sanded and cleaned. So, it's kind of hard to see a whole day's work in all this, but I guess I had some disassembly time too. Plus I had to make a run to Home Depot to buy more sandpaper. I don't know. Everybody, it's day four of our never-ending story here. Uh, I got uh, two coats of white paint put on this stuff yesterday. Looks like it's going to need at least one more coat. Darkness showing through there. 
deal. So, got all that painted. And neither wants her stuff to be like the opposite of mine. So, basically, everywhere mine was red, hers would be white. And everywhere mine was white, hers would be red. So, her desk is going to be red. It's got this white stripe here. So, I went ahead and peeled the tape back so it wouldn't take a paint off with it. If I left it on there too long. Anyway, this is coming along. So, so today, if I can get that last coat of white paint done and then <clears throat> let it dry for a couple hours. Oh yeah, I painted under here white as well. It's white under here. Under the desk. So I gotta crawl under there and do another coat. So then anyway, I got, let's see here. So this is a pile of stuff that still needs to be painted white. I got this. These two shelves and those crosses for the uh, for the window. And then over here, all this stuff needs to be painted red. And the cabinets and, and the desk in the in the office, of course. The inside of that bookcase. So anyway, it's gonna be a long day. Welcome to Santa's village. Well, Anita wanted her stuff red and white. And it is red and white. So, I hope she likes it when it's done. Oh, man. So, the first order of business today is to make this disastrous room back into livable space. I got all the major components painted and ready to go so that way I can reassemble it. So it doesn't take up the entire room. Then uh, <clears throat> I can do the rest of the little stuff outside. I got, I got these shelves here to do. I got these little pieces here to do. I got that drawer to do and I got these doors I, I masked those with some regular old printer paper slipped it in between the glass and the frame seemed like the easiest way to do it it's either a great idea or a horrible one we'll find out which later anyway the saga continues Well, I'm kind of torn here. I don't know whether to keep sharing these videos or to just quit. But I kind of feel like I didn't drag y'all along this far. I got to kind of show you where we're at. So, uh, this is Anita's desk here. Of course, it doesn't have any doors or shelves right now. So I still need to paint those and I didn't get to it today. So, I'm probably not going to get to it until Sunday. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if we back out a little further so we can see here. Yeah, so there, there's your setup right there. And then, that's across from my setup over here. Anita says my new chair is not comfortable. I haven't had the time to sit in it long enough to know. So. <clears throat> when we painted this bookcase, so I think it looks pretty cool. Red on the inside with a couple of white shelves. White on the outside. I kind of prefer that to the red on the outside, white on the inside myself, but it's all personal preference. Anyway, that's where we're at.
So another couple three days and I had the uh, doors back on and painted. I had the trim back up and painted and it was finally done. So we're supposed to be able to do this in two three day weekends but it ended up being six or seven days total to get it done uh, beyond what I thought. So it was a lot of work but we like our new setups and I guess in retrospect it was all worth it. <laughs>